Yep. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Microphone is live. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Microphone is on. Uh, only because I can't mute it for some reason. I'll show you that in a bit. <laughs> Evening, folks. Hello. Later than usual, but we're okay. We're in. As Rich Vibes eloquently says, hello and good evening to you. I'm Paul Weber. Hello, welcome to the Love Audio Production uh, s- <laughs> studio and to this live stream. Slightly later than normal, we normally go live at 8 o'clock, but uh, for various reasons which will become perfectly clear as we go through the evening, uh, it's later than usual. So hello, good evening and a very warm welcome. Uh, wherever you are watching this or listening to this around the world, please do drop us a comment uh, in, in the chat and we'll, uh, we'll shout you out, okay? Let us know where you're from. Uh, what you've been doing today, how you're feeling, you know, obviously in the light of things that have happened recently, uh, please do let us know how you're feeling. We're here for you, of course. Uh, do reach out to us. You can always email uh, the... Um uh, the usual email address is hello at loveaudio.co.uk. Uh, not a lot of people use that address, actually, to be fair. I've got to be say, uh, but um, yeah, normally they use the paul.weber one, but certainly use that one. It's a lot easier. Hello at loveaudio.co.uk if you want to get in touch. If you haven't yet subscribed, you're watching this channel thinking, ah, he looks a kind of cool dude with his converse type shirt on <laughs> uh, then please do drop us a like and also uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, and then uh, subscribe if you've not already done so okay we're up to 360 something I think I think the last count which is pretty cool so thanks to all the new subscribers well done to you I want to get to that magic 500 mark because then I can start using the uh, the community tab and you guys can get more involved with that all right so spread the word all right uh, that'll be really good um HDMB says hello uh, Tom and Becky here well done hello to you guys rich vibes in the house of course thank you very much indeed for joining uh, a couple of other lurkers as well, not letting us know who they are, but I'm sure they will in due course. All right, tonight, uh, as you as I mentioned from the um, uh, the um, uh, thumbnail, uh, new sound card and mic question mark with that little frowny face that I put up there earlier. Uh, well, the reason for that is uh, that um, I have. Oh, what's that doing? <laughs> okay, okay, it's just doing its own thing. It's fine. Um, in case you wondered who I was, it's just bringing my name in again, which is cool. Um, yeah, I've um, I've sold this to a broadcasting colleague of mine, and because um, uh, he wanted to, he wanted to know what I was using as regards sound card, microphone, all that kind of stuff, and he said it sounds really good. Uh, you know, um, can, can I can I get the stuff that you um. Uh, that you do. And I said, yeah, of course. I said, I'm actually trying to sell my Rodecaster Pro. This is the, the number one, Rodecaster Pro 1. And so I've sold him this and the Behringer mic that I uh, used to use. Now, the mic I'm using tonight, let me just explain to you. Hang on, let me put this down in case I drop it. Dan won't be watching. He's he's somewhere. Dan Johnson has bought the uh, the, the gear. He's, he's He's gone on some kind of glamping thing somewhere in Coventry and uh, and so he won't be um, watching the stream or at least I don't think he is. if you are Dan you're really sad you should get on with your life <laughs> I'm really joking but thanks very much um Rich Five says did you splash out on an RCP2 no I didn't no I didn't but watch next week's show and you will find out what I'm trading it up to uh, what I've got though is um the I don't know if my, my cables are a little tight so I don't know if I can get this in front of the camera give me two secs hang on uh, I don't want to crackle anything make anything bounce or jump because we've had awful problems no, listen i'm not gonna i'm not gonna risk picking it up but it's the audience 
ID14, and what I can do for you is bring up the software that comes with it. And I was amazed at the software. Danny, Danny Davis says, uh, evening, I made it. <laughs> well done. Uh, HDMB, nice top. Where did you get that? Uh, Spain. I think you know that anyway, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah. Um, what was going to say? So, I can show you the software that comes with this. And I didn't realize it had software with it until, it's, until it started kind of popping up every time I was changing stuff. Uh, so, the software that comes with this sound card is or looks like this uh, which is pretty impressive so you can see on the left hand side the microphone there and you know what look watch this right i'm going to mute it <laughs> watch this um i'm going to mute the, my, my arrow is just there look where, where the thing is i'm going to mute it and you guys should still be able to hear my voice what's going on there it means i can't mute the microphone on the mainstream for some reason i have no clue why it's muted in my headphones but it's not muted on the stream to you guys. Or is it? Tell me if it is. It's coming up as arrows on the screen, so I'm assuming I'm still going out live. But I've muted it. Can't hear it in my headphones, but you guys can hear it at your end. <laughs> how, how weird is that? Uh, so I've just unmuted it anyway. So um, we should be fine now. Um, but yeah, it's just, it, it's just a whole raft of stuff. Look, it's got mic one, mic two. So I've got two mics plugged in. I've got the radio mic as well, uh, which is the... Um, uh, this one that I use, you can't see that, it's so so tiny, but it's the um, AKG Perception Wireless PT45 microphone. That's plugged into uh, input two, and then I've got left and right speakers coming out of the back of that to the monitors either side. They're not turned on, so I don't want to give any feedback. Um, it's connected to the computer via USB, and that gives it the power, and I've got headphones plugged into the front of it. Uh, which is how I'm hearing myself and, and you guys, all right? So that's what's happening currently. And uh, if you move across, so it's mic one, mic two, digi one, digi two. I've no clue about that, but it's got an optical input. So I'm assuming you can use an optical input on those two channels as well. It's a bit like a, it's an onboard mixer. It's really cool. And then you've got the, these three, these one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six uh, potential channels which they class as, and I didn't write this, by the way, that was already up there, DAW 1 and 2, okay? DAW 3 and 4, and DAW 5 and 6. How cool is that? You've got two options for monitoring as well. That's QA, which is there. You can see that bobbing up and down on the left, on the right-hand side of the screen right now. Um, and then you've got Q, hang on, let me shut that down. And then you've got QB. I don't know what that does or how we can get that up, but um, currently it's not doing anything. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's quite a detailed little onboard mixer thing which i was amazed at and to set up you can also set the buffer size i've got it at 512 samples you can set the sample rate which we've got at 48 kilohertz and i didn't know you could change it i just thought it came as 44.1 which is why i was a little disappointed with it last time but it's 48 kilohertz you can go up as far as 88.2 kilohertz and 96 kilohertz unbelievable um if you turn down qa it would turn the mic off. If you turn down QA, would it turn the mic off? Um, no, because that's Q Master. Um, no, now you've got me. I uh, was laughing at the shirt thing, not the mute situation, just so you know. No, no, it's not a problem. You can laugh as much as you want. I mean, you know, I haven't got any buttons to press as laughter. Or, or I have, actually. <laughs> that's the stream deck. At least that still works. Um, <laughs> um, Danny, that's a very good question. So if I turn down QA, okay, I can still hear it in the headphones. And then if I mute the microphone, it's still coming through to you guys. So that makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. So QA, I have no clue what that means or does. But anyway, it looks pretty. And it's making little wave files along the bottom as well, which is cool. Uh, it, it may be something that that's, you know helps to record or something, or maybe an output, whatever. Um, no clue. And like I say, I've only just started to use this thing, so um, I'm still getting my head around it. And it's only temporary because the new thing arrives tomorrow. It's not what you think it is. It's something completely different. But it should get me through until such times as I can afford a Rodecaster Pro 2. Okay, good. All right. So this DAW1 and 2, what I wanted to do was to show you that on screen. Let me just go back to the chat a second. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's just take a quick look, make sure I've not missed anybody. Um, if you turn down QA, is there a mute on the QA? No, there isn't. Um, uh, I was laughing at the shirt thing, not the mute. That's fine, no problem. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to reduce that because what I want to do is 
Um, so go back to this screen um, just here. Okay, you can see that uh, that's the um, the ID14 uh, screenshot. I'm not going to move that because it's nicely in frame uh, when I do that. <laughs> so I'm going to go there. Uh, but what I want to do is open up Studio One Five. Now, when I did this earlier, I'm going to tell you this right now. When I did this earlier, it changed all the mic settings for vMix. Okay. Um, so I'm going to keep talking to you, hopefully in, in the hope that it still maintains um, volume to the stream rather than cutting me off and <laughs> uh, we're still there. Good. Excellent. Okay. So this is my Studio One Professional, Studio One 5.5 Pro from Presonus. That's the software of choice that I use as my DAW. Now, going back to that software from ID, you can see this has got DAW 1 and 2, DAW 3 and 4, and DAW 5 and 6, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, um here's what happens. So I've got I've already started to um to do some samples with the microphone setup. So I've got some audio here. I'm going to play it back to you. Let me just rewind uh, to the beginning of this audio file. I'll play you the, the top one first, uh, and it'll all will become apparent, and I'll solo that and then play this the second track as well. So here we go. This is track 1, first of all. Have a listen to this. This is a test of the Tascam TM80 microphone going through the Rodecaster Pro mixing console slash sound card. Okay, now that was before I dismantled and uh, disconnected the Soundcraft, uh, Soundcraft, the, um, what's it called? Pro, uh, Rodecaster Pro 1. Uh, so as you can see, it was using the Tascam mic, but... It was using the Rodecaster Pro. Have a listen again. This is a test of the Tascam TM80 microphone going through the Rodecaster Pro mixing console slash sound card. All right, now what I'm going to do is rewind that and then solo up this one instead. Mute that. And so what I'm going to do is play back this one. Now, this is using the ID14 from Audient sound card on the playback. Have a listen to this. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card, and the microphone is the Tascam TM80. It's coming back through the Audient ID software and going into the Studio One, uh, Studio One 5.5 Pro software as well, with a gate across the audio uh, to stop any uh, nastiness getting through. Keep listening. Uh, this is a second test of the um, Tascam TM80 microphone coming through the Audient ID14 sound card. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what happens because it was getting all sorts of um, strange anomalies coming through other pieces of software. This is what we're Let's doing. Let's try this instead, see what happens. Okay, so this is a test of the Audient uh, that audio fourteen sound card and the microphone. It was coming Tascam through TM eighty. It's coming back through the audio. See, I've muted ID it and it's software. still coming through to you guys. How does that work? The Studio One, uh, Studio One five point five Pro software as well, with a gate across the audio uh, to stop any uh, nastiness getting through. So let me pause that uh, for this a second. Is a second, because what's happening there is. Um, the way I've got the audio set up, it is playing to you guys, which is brilliant. That's what I want. I want you to, to be able to hear what's going on on screen or, you know, what hear and watch as, you, as you're watching along. However, on the audience software, when I mute it or when I fade it down, you guys are still hearing the audio, right? If, if that's the case, give me a, a yes or a no in the, uh, in the comments because I need to get some feedback from you guys as to, as to what exactly is happening with this. I'm not entirely sure, to be fair, because like I say, it's my first uh, opportunity to, um, to get my head around this, okay? So, um, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. Now, um, let me think about this. Let me think if I solo that. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, interesting. Okay, that's interesting. So I solo that. Can I solo that? That's got nothing coming through. I've muted them myself in the headphones for some reason. Um, and it's put the microphone fader down, which is odd. Microphone fader should be up like so. Um, that's interesting. Okay. So that's QB. You were talking about QB and QA earlier on. Um, QB is there, look. Uh, yes, can hear all even when muted. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just bizarre. So if I turn down QB and turn down QA... And then go to Master Mix, which which is here with no controls on it. Um, on the right hand side, you can see that the levels are still moving. Everything's fine. I'm going to replay the audio. Can you see the ID button on the main sound card? Um, can I see the ID button on the main sound card? Can I see the ID button on the main sound card? Uh, 
Um, yes, I can. Yeah. Why? What does that do? Um, you seem to know more about it than I do, Danny, which is fantastic. Because <laughs> I have absolutely no clue what's going on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I can. So if I press the ID button, right, That does. what does that do? What does it do? Tell me what it does. Absolutely nothing. So maybe, maybe what we're hearing is not going through the ID software. Um, yes, it is, because it's the only sound card I'm using. I'm not using the onboard sound card um, that I would normally be using, okay? Um, so now if I, if I mute the microphone, I'm muting it. I can hear it. I can't hear it on my headphones, but you guys can hear it at your end, right? I'm muted. Bring the fader down. You guys can still hear it on the stream. I can't hear it in my headphones, right? Bring the fader up. I can now hear it in my headphones again. So you see what I mean? So uh, that ID button does absolutely nothing as far as I can see. What it does, look, it allows me to control the fader using a, a, a button. Every time I hover over the button, it makes it, it makes it change. Look, see? So if I hover over it, it allows me to change the parameters using the, the, the turny thing. <laughs> the turny thing, technical phrase for knob, um, on, the, um, on the fader itself, which is bizarre, right? So it's acting as a control surface, but only... Look at that. It's amazing. So there's nothing on that one. Bring that one down as well, because there's nothing coming through that one. Um, so yeah, you see what I mean? So it's not really doing what I want it to do, to be fair, and I've no clue how to make it work, but it doesn't matter because it's temporary anyway, and I'll probably only use it as a second income in, in input source, actually, when we get going. Uh, hello is the message. I can't read that. Let me just go to um, to this screen here, and then we can go here as well. Oh, the Blind Guy Show. Hello to you. Good evening, sir. Very, very welcome. Danny says, press it. I did and nothing happened. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can you see the main ID button on the main sound card? Love it. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, Rich Vibe says, so it may be what we are hearing is not going through the ID software. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it seems to be. Uh, Rich, Rich says, open setup. Okay. Stay with me, caller. Uh, let's go to ID. Go to setup. Set sample rate, set clock source, set loopback source. The loopback is coming through DAW1 and 2, okay? Um, now, that, honestly, I've tried all of them, and it makes absolutely no difference. So um, it, I, you could say I could try that one by one and see what happens, but it, it actually makes no difference whatsoever. And I need to get my head around that particular side of the software uh, so that I can then see what happens and, and make it work because this loopback thing's pretty good but that what that means is that you know if i have a caller on for instance they're not going to hear themselves back so it's a bit like um it's a bit like the roadcaster pro had um mix minus so it's that kind of thing so you get a loop back but you don't get it coming through to the mainstream again do you know what i mean so yeah just that really and of course don't forget that every setting in here you then have to mess around with settings in windows to enable the Windows settings and Chrome and all that kind of stuff to work with it as well, okay? It's, it's it's very complex. I was here for ages earlier on trying to do it, and then I had to leave, so that was it. I had to get out of there. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's extremely complex as far as I can see, But and I didn't even know it existed until I started messing around with stuff. So it's so a show system panel. Right, okay, okay, now here we are. This this will be interesting to those that, that, um, that can see what happens. So... What you've got here is digital inputs. You've got ADAT and SPDF. Uh, I don't use any of those, so that doesn't really apply, which is fine. Default clock source is uh, internal, which is fine. Mono mode, uh, left, center, and right. It's on center, so that's fine. ID mode. So when you press ID mode, mode you can choose between scroll control, mono, mono and polarity, dim, talkback, and Alt. Now, I have no clue what Alt does. I leave it at scroll control and it's absolutely fine. Trim settings, dim and Alt, no clue. Um, and on this, you've got analog inputs and then you've got talkback, okay? Internal and external talkback. Input source is none because I haven't got it set up. Could quite easily do that, but I'm not going to do it. It's fine. It's going to complicate, complicate matters no end. So here, what we have is um, uh, like a, a routing matrix, if you will, okay? Um, main mix. One and two, headphones, five and six. Okay. I've no idea why it shows five and six, but it does. Stereo three and four, stereo one and two. Okay. Now, main mix, alt speaker, 
QA, QB, DAW through. So if you wanted the DAW to come straight to the stream, you press it and look what happens. It says this could be loud. Mono mode defaults to door through. Door through routes the output from your computer directly to the outputs without any volume control. This could be loud. Okay, so I haven't done that because I really don't want to. Okay, so let's cancel that. Um, and the same thing if you press that, it gives you the warning as well. And the same with the headphones. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. Any other suggestions? Gratefully received. <laughs> so that's the that's the system panel uh, that comes up when you press that. Um, what else can I show you on here? <clears throat> Excuse me. So QA, QB. I notice notice they change color as well. Look, see. So so what this is a QA. You can send a, a kind of mix, I guess, to QA. Um, you know, based on. Uh, the, the the settings on on the the faders themselves. So bring that down to there. Bring that down to there. That's on QA. QB. Then you can bring up to that, and then do a different fade, do a different mix like that, and do that. And then master mix, of course, is the main thing coming through to you guys. So that's what that is. So it's a QA and QB. So if you watch the faders move slightly, they change according to whatever you set or your parameters uh, along here, which is pretty cool. Um, but I don't know where they go to after that, QA and QB. There's only one, well, there's two headphone sockets. One is uh, a quarter inch jack. The other one is a, uh, a mini jack, if you like, but it's right next to it. So it looks like it's going to be the same socket. Uh, nothing on the back apart from outputs three and four. Okay. Um, you've got outputs three and four as stereo jacks and I've got in outputs one and two going to the two speakers either side of me. So that's what those are being used for. However, what I haven't got my head around is how to mute this stuff uh, so it doesn't come through to the, the thing. You know, for instance, like on the master mix, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> uh, so I've got the microphone set at zero dB. Okay, now I could bring that right down. I'll bring it right down. It makes no difference to you guys, but in my headphones, it goes quiet. Um, so that's where I'm at with this particular software <laughs> and hardware. Trying to, trying to combine the two, make, make them work and make them work properly. And it's, it's just not happening. So, yeah. Uh, any tips and hints, please do let me know. I've not yet gone through the help thing. There's um, a knowledge base, check for updates. I've done that. And it, it's up to date as regards the, uh, the software. Um, and just as about application, blah, blah, blah. 2002. Audient Limited. So it's, a, it's either a British company or it's a British company abroad. Uh, so that makes me feel a lot easier. <laughs> I just need to get my head around it and find out if it works. I guess, you know, I could go into the um, the knowledge base and all that kind of stuff. Let's let's see what's in there, shall we, just for a giggle. Um, let's do that. <clears throat> uh, it's audience. ID14 Mark II downloads, um, firmware change log. Uh, doesn't really sound like a simple setup. No, it isn't. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> and it's only temporary, thank goodness. Um, ID driver change log, blah, blah, blah. Technical specs. Um, what USB port could blah, blah, blah. Unable to open the drivers. How do I use my blah, blah, blah with an ID44 to gain more channels? Setting up external hardware effects. No, don't want to do that. Um, I just want to just want to make it work, to be fair. Um, there is a support question thing down at the bottom right-hand side. Uh, so uh, Rich says, what you are wanting to do on the through to us is actually what's happening in headphones instead. Um, no, because that is anyway. That is currently what's happening. Anything in the headphones is coming through to you guys. Um, and if I did, I, if I did um, DAW through, uh, Rich, that would not enable me to control any volume settings comes straight through to you as high as it gets uh, and that's what i don't want to do because it will blast you guys out um setting up alt speakers basic setup for windows okay uh, how, do I set up, how do i set up loop back right let's have a look at this because that's quite interesting um please note loop back is only available on the id 14 mark ii okay that's fine um Set loop back source. Right, here we go. As part of the software of ID14, you also have the ability to loop back audio so you can record or stream audio from different applications on your computer. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> to allow for lots of flexibility, the ID mixer gives a number of sources for your loop back audio, which can be adjusted in the ID menu. Fabulous. The sources are as follows. 
DAW1 and 2, any audio being sent to outputs 1 and 2 of the ID14. DAW3 and 4, any audio being sent to outputs 3 and 4 of the ID14. Okay, that's useless because I've got nothing plugged into it. DAW5 and 6, any audio being sent to outputs 5 and 6 of the ID14. <gasps> Master mix, the audio created in the ID mixer on the main mix panel. Ah. QA is the audio mix created in the ID mixer on the QA panel. And QB is the audio mix created in the ID mixer on the QB panel. Uh, HDMB says, maybe just try it and see. We'll, we'll all turn down a little. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Uh, using the loopback mix. Here we go. Right. So have a listen to this, guys. To record or stream your loopback mix, <clears throat> simply select either input 11 and 12. What? or loopback one and two in your audio software. All right, interesting. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> why have I opened my emails? I don't need my emails open. Why did I just click on that? That's crazy. Hang on. Okay, so in here, what it's saying then in that case is, if I do um, inputs, it only goes up to eight. Uh, input 1, which is analog 1, right? Input 5, 6, 7, and 8, okay? Audio I.O. setup. Right, here we go. Doesn't allow for 11, although 11 is looped back. You see this? On the top, <clears throat> excuse me, of the top of the inputs, loop back 1, <clears throat> excuse me, left, and loop back right. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's add a stereo channel then, in that case, and we'll go with loopback 11 and 12, right? Let's relabel that. Loop back. Okay. Click apply. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing happening so far, which is fine. Okay, that's fine. So if I enable um, a track, let's, let's go, go this one, for instance, you can hear, probably you can hear a doubling sound currently, which is fine because I've got a monitor on there as well. So that's coming through there now, okay? Um, da, 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 da. Okay, nothing there is enabling me to have loopback set up. Now, what, does the, what does the software say? Hang on. Uh, so... Input 11 and 12, that's fine. Yes. Um, sending audio to the DAW 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Okay, that's interesting. Most DAWs and audio software will allow you to select your audio output as part of the audio preferences or in a mixer. Again, for details on how to do this, check your manual documentation. For applications that don't give you this option, however, you can simply adjust the system settings. Mac OS, that's irrelevant. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Windows. On Windows, you can simply change your output by going to the sound settings control panel, go to the playback device and select output three or four or output five and six as your output device. Okay. Was this article helpful? Was that it? <laughs> Don't really go very far, does it? I can submit a request, which is cool. Have more questions, submit a request. So I can do that and probably will do when I've got more time, which is fine. But yeah, it, you know, it's just one of those things I'm going to have to get used to. It, it, it's probably doing a lot more than I think it can do. And yeah, will be quite useful once I get my head around it. Um, but uh, because Rich wants us to try it, um, I think it was Rich that said that. Give me two seconds. Was it? Uh, you know, it was, it was Tom that says, maybe just try it and see. We'll all turn down a little. Okay. <laughs> okay. You asked for this, right? So um, uh, let's have a look at it. So if I go to set up, Loopback source. Uh, what was it again? Um, I can't remember what it was. Can you remember what it was? Is it loopback source? No, I don't know what that was. Hang on. What was it? Uh, show system panel. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, so door DAW through. Okay, so we're going to go with main mix DAW through. I'm going to click it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Um... Did anybody blow up? Are we still broadcasting? I'll do the headphones as well, ready? Okay, I can't hear anything through my headphones now. All I can hear is DAW through, right? Tell me if you guys can still hear the voice, because I can't hear my own voice in my own headphones, which is ridiculous. Um, let me know what you can hear, please. Uh, the, the DAW through is now switched on. 
as you can see on this end panel here. Are we still coming through? Uh, just a question about the Rodecaster Pro. With me being on all the stations that I am, can I save my jingles in many banks on the buttons, or is there a limit on how many I can save? No, uh, there's no limit. Well, there's no limit. I say that. There's probably about three or four banks of 12 buttons, or eight buttons, I think, Danny, on that one. Um, you can check um, Rode's website, and they'll they'll give you details about that. We can hear you, says HDMB. I can't hear myself, though. So that DAW through. Let's just try playing something on the DAW. Uh, and then see if that makes any difference, okay? Let's take that off because we don't need that on there. Go back to the beginning and then play. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card, and the microphone is the Tascam TM80. It's coming back through the Audient ID software. See, I'm not hearing any of that, going into by the, the way. Studio One, uh, Studio <laughs> One 5.5 Pro software as well, with a gate across the audio uh, to stop any uh, nastiness getting through. Uh, this is a second test of the um, Tascam TM80 microphone coming through the Audient ID14 sound card. Mm. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what happens because it was getting all sorts of uh, <coughs> strange anomalies coming through other bits of software. But let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card and the microphone Wasn't any louder is the than Tascam before, TM80. Yeah, we can hear that too. It's right, coming okay. back through the Audient ID software. Right. Okay, so I actually Studio think one, that that makes uh, no Studio difference one, whatsoever. So I'm going to crack it back to there well. so I can the now hear myself across the good. audio uh, to stop any uh, Could go to nastiness getting through. See, I've switched it to mix A, and that's lower now in and my headphones. A second test of uh, which the is cool. um, Tascam TM80 microphone coming through the Audient ID14 sound card. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what happens because it was getting all sorts of um, strange anomalies coming through other bits of software. But let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card, and the microphone is the Tascam TM80. It's coming back through the Audient ID <coughs> software and going into the Studio One, uh, Studio One 5.5 Pro software as well, with a gate across the audio. There we go. So you know, it's it's probably a really good sound card. I think it's only about 120 quid or something like that. But you know, it it it's probably a really good sound card. Um, uh, but it's over complicated for me personally because I just need to get my head around why it's why you guys can hear everything and I've muted everything. <laughs> uh, so that's that's my challenge, I guess. But like I say, new piece of kit coming tomorrow, and there'll be a live stream, maybe an unboxing. I might unbox it midweek if I've got time, or I'll wait till Monday. What do you want to What do you want to do, guys? I'll probably be using it before that, but. What, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to unbox it through the week and then it sends you a notification when I'm going live? Or do you want me to wait till Monday and do the unboxing and plugging it in then? What do you want to do? Let me know in the comments, please. Uh, and we'll get that sorted out. Oh, hang on. Good grief. That's, that's zoomed in. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a zoom button. <laughs> Where did that come from? Ah! <laughs> 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 I didn't know I had that on my stream deck. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> if you're watching this going, who the heck's that? Uh, my name is Paul Weber. Love Audio Production is the channel. Thank you for joining. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do so. Click the bell icon as well. That will enable you to uh, be uh, notified every time we go live. So click that subscribe button now. Ding! And smack that bell. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, so uh, let us know in the comments about what you'd like me to do. Would you like me to, um, uh, you'll want to open it as soon as it gets it. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. But, can I have a happy birthday? No, Danny, is that tomorrow? Day after? I haven't got a happy birthday on my stream deck, on my buttons. Can I have a happy birthday? <laughs> hang on. I've got it in my calendar. So hang on a minute. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> Right, is this happening? Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's not happening. I'm not watching that. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Let's reduce the volume. Uh, that's absolutely fine. So I can do that and that. Do that and that. Calendar. Uh, it's not Danny's birthday till the 20th, ladies and gentlemen. 20th of September. You see, I had to go in my calendar and find out. <laughs> it's not Danny's birthday till the 20th. 
Oh no, it's not till next week. Well, you're not getting a happy birthday till till next Monday then. In that case, um, and I'll get it set up on uh, on the new piece of kit that's arriving, uh, or I'll set it up on the stream deck. Okay, I'm sure that I won't get copyright struck for playing Happy Birthday. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Tom says um, <laughs> Tom says you'll want to open it since it gets here. Yes, but I don't mind unplugging it, plugging it all back in. Um, on the Monday stream next Monday. So, yeah, we can do that. Uh, by the way, the microphone, if you, if you like the sound of the microphone, it's not the Behringer C1. I've packed that away because uh, I've sold that. But um, this is the uh, Tascam TM80 microphone. I'll just put that plastic back in the box. That's the, that's the box it comes in. Yeah. Oh, wrong way around, there you go. TM80, nice looking mic. Sounds good as well, by the way. I love the sound of this one. It's really crisp and clear. Um, but it's a nice mic. Um, I think I was flogging it for... Where's the price tag? It's not about the price tag. Where is it? Where the hell's the price tag? I'm sure I labelled it up. <laughs> I think it was about 80 quid, I think. Uh, Danny says it's a bank holiday. Uh, doing a stream next Monday is a bank holiday. Yeah, you know what? What the hell? Um, although, although, of course... Um... Blind Guy Show says, before I go, just wanted to tell you that I caught you live on air a few weeks ago. Good stuff. Thank you very much indeed, Blind, show, Blind Guy Show. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, was that live on a radio station or um, or what? So, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. Um, but, yeah, live here every every Monday. Um, so, yeah, next Monday is, um, is the funeral uh, for uh, the late uh, Queen Elizabeth II. So... Um, Yes, it is a bank holiday officially, and um, providing everybody's okay with it, I will be going live at 8 p.m. because I don't think anything's happening at that particular time in the evening. However, if that's different, then of course I will let you know and we'll reschedule the uh, the stream, okay? Um, yeah, so uh, that's all that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a detailed look at this because um, that... that Looks quite complicated to me. Setting up loopback. Um, so you can record or stream audio from different applications on your computer. Yeah. Yeah. So I have lots of flexibility. Yeah, on the radio. Oh, cool. Excellent. Uh, which station was it? Was it Radio X? Radio EXE? Radio X? Or was it uh, ZestLiverpool.com? Radio X or Zest Liverpool? Um, number of sources for your loopback audio can be adjusted in the ID menu. Yeah, so, you know, I've got to get my head around that because I think it's, you know, there could be a ton of stuff that I'm not doing right and I just need to kind of experiment with it. Um, but it is interesting that even when I mute it currently, you guys can still hear it. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. I should be able to mute myself. What's going on? I mean, this is this is for Mac, this bit here. Um. So I don't really want to worry, worry too much about that. Click on all your audio will be sent to these channels in the... Click apply, and now all your audio will be sent to these channels in the ID mixer, allowing you to set up a loopback mix that is separate to your main output. Interesting. Okay. Okay. With that in mind, then. With that in mind, set up loopback source. Let's go for loopback on QA, for instance. Okay. QA is now loopback, right? And you can tell because it puts a little icon next to the QA. So let's go to QA, okay? QA, I'll put my microphone up there like that. Put the DAW source, and let's just play something on the DAW to see what happens, okay? Uh, we'll go back to the beginning of that, and then press play. This is a test of the audience uh, ID14 sound card, and the microphone is the Tascam TM80. Can you hear that? I'm going into the Studio One, uh, Studio One 5.5 Pro software as well, with a gate across the audio uh, to stop any. Um, Can you hear that, guys? Getting through. Uh, this is a second test of the um, Tascam TM80 microphone coming through the Audience ID14 sound card. Any good? Um, any good? Any good? Any good? Settings, just to see. What Can you hear the DAW stuff? All sorts of um, strange anomalies coming through other bits of software. But let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14. Very faint, yeah. It's probably coming through the headphones. Tascam TM80. 
It's coming back through the Audient ID software and going into the Studio One uh, Studio One 5.5. Volume's really up high though. With the gate across the audio uh, to stop any um, nastiness getting through. I'll try muting it as we're going through. Uh, this is a second test of the um, Tascam TM80 microphone. <coughs> the <Audio coughs> 14 sound card. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what happened. Yeah, very faint. I've muted it now and I've muted my microphone, but you're, you guys are still hearing it, right? But let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the audio 14 sound card and the microphone is the Tascam TM80. It's coming back through the Audient ID software and going into the Studio <coughs> One uh, Studio One 5.5 Pro software as well, with the gate across the audio uh, to stop any um, nastiness getting through. Uh, this is you can still hear me. Yeah, I know. Tascam TM80 microphone. Audient ID 14 sound card. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what. Happens. Two, three, four, five. One, two. Sorts of, um, Strange anomalies coming Two, three, four, five. Now you can still hear me. Let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card and the microphone. I'm going to stop back because it's doing my head in. Uh, Robert says, oh, wow, a late show for you today. Yes, it was, Robert. Um, let me explain to the audience what was happening. Uh, so this afternoon, uh, I deliver for Amazon, as you may know, uh, as a freelancer. And um, what happened What happened was, is this. Let me tell you a story. You come here and I'll tell you a little story. What happened today? Um, <clears throat> so... <sighs> I had booked a shift from 2.30 to 5.30 this afternoon and set off what I thought was plenty of time. Anyway, I get to the junction, which is about a mile from my house, of the of the motorway, of the freeway, as you guys would call it in America, and um, there was a, a massive truck, a lorry, that had tipped over, literally tipped over on its side and shed its complete load of... Uh, grain, food, grain for animals, you know, animal feed. And it was all over the road. There was um, a police car or police van, you know, blocking the the, the entrance slip road um, to the um, uh, to the junction. And there was an ambulance there as well. So, you know, God forbid somebody got hurt there, but uh, that's why that's why they were on, on the scene. So there's an ambulance there as well. And, and so there was a massive queue from the junction itself right the way back to uh, to the, the the junctions I leave my kind of estate here and um estate that sounds grand doesn't it but you know what I mean uh, housing development um so the queue was really long so uh, there was no way r physically that I would be able to get there on time I got there with well, I got there 2 minutes past the 5 minute past the the junction that you're allowed you're allowed 5 minutes past your allotted time let's say 2:30 so I got there at 2:37 and the app uh, tells you that you can't deliver. <laughs> I'd already phoned driver support to let them know I was going to be late because of the crash. And um, yeah, they still wouldn't let me deliver. So I turned around, came back home and then started messing around with the sound card and doing the, the bits and pieces. But I, I then chose to do a later shift to kind of make up what I would have lost uh, on the earlier shift a little bit. And so, yeah, and, and lo and behold, the deliveries for that shift were all around here locally. And so my last shift, I think I was about 19 or 20 minutes away from home, uh, which is pretty cool and quite rare that that happens. So that was quite good. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's what's happened today. And that's why the, uh, the show is later than it normally would be. So yeah, all fun and games. And, and by the way, we are... Uh, looking at a uh, new sound card and microphone tonight, by the way, in case you've just joined us. And the uh, sound card of uh, choice, not necessarily choice, but I've got one anyway, so I thought I'd use it, is the um, uh, Audient, A-U-D-I-E-N-T, Audient ID14 sound card. Uh, and this is the screenshot of the software that comes with it, and it's very complex, and it's now not even showing my... Um, voice in the in the mixer why is that <laughs> oh dear god i don't know uh, oh there it is oh yeah it's because it wasn't shoved over far enough okay so that's that's fine so yeah and then anything coming through the daw let me just play that for you again is the tascam tm80 it's coming back through the it's coming up here but and going into the studio one uh, 5.5 Pro software as well, with the gate across the audio uh, to stop any um, nastiness getting through. There we go, you see? 
Uh, this is a second test of the... Um, is that any better volume-wise, by the way? Phone ...coming through the Audient ID14 sound card. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what... 2345, 2345, 222. ...anomalies coming through other bits of software. But let's try this instead, see what happens. Is that better volume-wise, by the way, guys? The Audient, Tell me. Uh, ID14 sound card and the microphone is yeah, the Tascam TM80. Through. It's coming back through the Audient ID software and going into the Studio One, uh, <clears throat> Studio One 5.5 Pro software as well, with a gate across the audio uh, to stop any uh, nastiness getting through. Uh, this is a second test of the um, Tascam TM80 microphone coming through the Audient ID14 sound card. Um, just tweaked a few settings just to see what happens because it was getting all sorts of um, strange anomalies coming through other bits of software. But let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card and the microphone is the Tascam TM80. It's coming back through the Audient ID software and going into... The Yes, people don't want to hear that. Thank you very much. It's far too much. Uh, so what I've done is um, I've raised the volume of mix, um, uh, mix A, QA, uh, mix, by the way, raised the volume right up, but I've dropped um, the volume of my microphone down. So hopefully I'm not shouting uh, above, the, um, uh, above the other volume. Uh, but then you can hear the volume coming through the DAW. Is that correct? Give me a yes or no in the comments if you wouldn't mind. Uh, it just helps me to kind of tweak these, these, um, the settings to make sure that I'm, I'm using it properly, okay? So that's interesting because that's, that's, that's now a loopback channel on QA. That's the master that's coming to you guys. <clears throat> Just want to try one more thing as well while you guys are, are, are chatting in the uh, in the chat. Let me know. Um, I want to go to Epidemic Sound. I want to try and bring in uh, some Epidemic Sound music. Browse. Uh, let's go with Small Emotions. Let's go with this one. Okay. Uh, I'm now playing audio. And you guys can't hear a thing, and nor can I, to be fair. But I think, ah, look, this is great. Let me show you. I'm going to sort breakfast out. We'll catch you tomorrow at some point. No problem, Danny. Thanks for watching. Uh, guys, I want you to see this. This is DAW 3 and 4, and that's where sound is now coming up through. Can you hear that? Ah, that's good. And so look, hang on. Ah. There you, go. you should be able to hear that now. This is um epidemic sound by the way, guys. Imaginary answer by Hannah Lindgren. So I can adjust the volume of that, that's really cool. So that's the um that's the audio coming back from Epidemic Sound through DAW 3 and 4. You see that at the top there? So I can control the volume of that. That's really cool. Ah, now it seems to be working. It does on that channel there. Yeah, 3 and 4. But don't forget the DAW is coming through on 1 and 2. So if I play that at the same time, we're probably going to cause chaos, but let's try it with the Studio One uh, Studio One 5.5 Pro software as well. With a gate across the audio uh, to stop any Uh, this is a second test of the um, Tascam TM80 microphone coming through the Audient ID14 sound card. Um, just tweaking is that working, guys? Things just to see what happens because it was getting all sorts of um, strange anomalies coming through other bits of software. But let's try this instead, see what happens. This is a test of the Audient uh, ID14 sound card. Let us know what you guys can hear, can you please? That will be great. It's interesting, isn't it? Wow. But what's worrying is this, I've stopped the DAW and there's still something going on on channels one and two. Because it's causing a little bit of rumble down here at the bottom end. I can't work out where that's coming from. Interesting. Yeah. Let's mute both of those channels. See if that helps.
No, still a little bit of rumble there. You see that rumble down at the bottom end of uh, DAW 1 and 2? You can hear music in the background, yeah? Okay. Interesting. That's good. And the good thing is I've got control over that volume now, which is brilliant, which I didn't have before. save that <laughs> I love the way it gives you chat click OK to replace yes <laughs> and the reason I call it second look is because that it's the second attempt at me trying to save audio settings so that's why I like that that's that's cool that's working that's brilliant and we'll, we'll talk about the loop back another time but that's that's quite complex <laughs> um, but yeah Interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, DAW one and two looks like it's picking up three and four. Um, yeah. I think you're probably right to a certain extent, but not very highly volume-wise. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've just... Oh, I've just muted it. In my headphones, and I can't hear the music anymore. That's weird. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> That's the rumble I think you mentioned. I uh, can see it bouncing along quietly, yeah. Well, listen, when I mute it, the music stops in my headphones. But you guys can still hear it on the stream, right? The track's finished. Hang on. There comes the music again. Yes, correct. Yeah. Which is weird, but why why would it mute? Why why would the I'm trying to get my head around this, you know, it's really complex. Um why would the why would me muting DAW one and two prevent me from hearing the music on three and four? But I can still hear my my microphone. That's what I don't get. And also, I've muted both things now, including the microphone. But you guys can still hear me. So that's just, it's just wrong in the, on every level. <laughs> it's very bizarre. I, I honestly don't know what's going on here. QB. If I mute one, two, three, one, two, three, you can still hear me. I'm, I'm muting QB. Let's have a look at those settings again. Solo, mute, solo. That's really weird. QA is what we're listening to, which is cool. Um, set up. Loop back source, no? It's on QA. Loop back source is QA. Okay, I get that. <coughs> The one you meant. So currently, all oh, okay. So all can still hear all. Yeah. Also, all are set to main mix. So that would be why, I guess. Um. Yeah. So let's try one and two. Oh, 
hot speaker because nothing's coming out of that anyway, right? And uh, three and four can go to QB because nothing's coming out of that either. And in the headphones, I can hear everything. So try that. Okay, so now it's still, it's still rumbling, look. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So I've muted my microphone, you can still hear me. But nothing's changed there. Interesting that the music, though, is controllable by this fader on three and four. If you can figure that one out, please do let me know. Because I have absolutely no clue. <clears throat> Yeah, DAW1 and 2 is picking up 3 and 4. You're absolutely right, Tom. Um, and it's doing my head in. Need an engineering degree to use the software. You really do. And it's just... I mean, you know, luckily it's only temporary and I'm hoping that the new thing that arrives tomorrow will, will be less complex <laughs> as regards routing. Routing, as you guys call it. <clears throat> Well, you know what? We've, we've been going an hour and I think we've pretty much exhausted all the stuff. I'm going to... Can you click on where it says DAW 1 and 2? Well, I thought that. No. Well, you can change the name of it, Tom, but that's all you can do. Um, you know, so I could call it... Well, I could call it DAW 1 and 2. That's fine. And then DAW 3 and 4, I could call um, Computer. Like that so you can you can click on it and just change the name yeah <clears throat> but I don't understand why using the fader on the DAW doesn't change the volume of it when it comes out to you guys do you know what I mean Tom says ah <laughs> a difference. Master Mix. You see, that's everything's coming through the Master Mix. I get that. I can change the name of that if I want to. I don't know why I would. You can't really do much to it either. <clears throat> I have no clue. This is going mad. This is crazy. It really is. It's, 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 it's one of those things that it must be something so simple and yet something so complex that I can't get my head around it. And I don't know why it's still rumbling. It's still picking up. DAW1 and 2 is still picking up the computer audio and my microphone, even though the computer audio fader is down. Wow, hang on. That suddenly got really loud. <gasps> oh, that's... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Wait, wait. Oh, that's Master Mix. No wonder. Oh, do you know what? QA, right. QA, can you hear anything, guys? Yeah, because I've turned master mix. Uh, I need to put my microphone up, don't I? Like that. One, two, one, two. It makes no difference, but it, I can hear it in my headphones. <clears throat> so, master mix there. That's really loud in my headphones now, the music. But it's not loud in, in, in your thing, because the QA is what I'm sending you, right? Which is this. Yeah, it probably is simple. You probably figure it out tomorrow. First try. I know, right? Uh, now I can't hear the music. What the hell? Oh, come on. Okay, now I can hear it. Now I can hear the music in the background. But I don't get why that's still the, the DAW one and two is still picking up the music. Change the loopback source to QB, right? Ah, now then. Watch this, guys. You've got no music coming through, right? I'm stumped. Uh, Tom, I hope you stay on for a couple more minutes. Um, 
so on QB, my microphone is down. One, two, three, four, five. That makes no difference, but uh, we'll leave it up anyway. And watch what happens when I fade the music up, right? You should be able to hear music now. Can you hear that? And when I do that, one and two starts to rumble on Q Master for QB, right? I fade it right out. I don't know if you can still hear it or not. I can hear it on my headphones. <laughs> okay, now I've now muted. Wow, this needs a noise gate across it. Yes, I can. So if I, if I unmute that, fade it up. Right? But if I fade it down, DAW1 and 2 is only picking up my voice now because it's loud. You see that on the left-hand side there, down at the bottom? That's on QMix B. Can't when you fade it out. No, exactly. There's the music for you. <laughs> I think we might be getting there slowly. You see, when there's volume coming through computer audio and my microphone, one and two starts to pick up that because it's quite loud, I guess. Uh, QA, slightly different. Let's bring that down. So we don't need that much money. In fact, we don't even need it at all, do we? Not, we're not monitoring through QA. We're monitoring through QB now, right? And Master Mix is picking up everything, which of course it would do. What if I bring my microphone volume down? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can still hear it, can't you? It's not muting the mic. That's the point. Even on Q... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. No, even, on, even by dropping the volume on that, on QB, it's still picking up my voice through the stream. Which is bizarre. Mm -hmm. uh, two, 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 there we go, okay. So I think it's capable, I think it's very capable, I think this is a very capable piece of software that comes with the hardware. Very capable of routing stuff to various things, however, one would need a degree in order to work it, work it out. One would need a degree. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's stumped me and I'll probably be having nightmares about it now, but I've been drinking decaf tea, so it should be fine. <laughs> What's the little circle with the line through it? Uh, that's um, uh, that's a, an anti-phasing... Um, uh, that's an anti-phasing button. So if you had two mics in the same room and they were kind of competing against each other, you would click that and it changes the phasing. Can you hear that? If I've just clicked it, you can hear a difference in the, in the audio. Uh, I'll unclick it and it's back to normal. Click it, click it, like that. So yeah, it changes the phase. It switches the polarity, uh, minus to plus, or plus to minus, whichever way around it is. I don't really understand it, but I know that that's what it does. And the 10 dB is, oh my gosh, ow, ow, God, that's a 10 dB plus uh, noise pad to, to bring it up. Wow, that's really loud. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, that was extremely loud. So, yeah, don't press the 10 dB button when you've got headphones on. It's not a good idea. I'm going to leave it there, you know, because it's just it's doing my head in. I <laughs> can't cope. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I am going to save it though, but what I want to do before I, yes, second look, save, thank you. <coughs> what I want to do before I go, because I have to, uh, ouch, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I did not mean to do that, sorry guys. Um, we'll look at that at a different time. That can be stopped, and I can log out of that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And what I want to do is, um, yeah, get some sleep. No, honestly, I've got to make sure that this works because 
Um, I need to be able to hear stuff back as well as presenting stuff in the morning for the for the Zest show. So uh, bear with me a second, guys. I'm going to go to um, to the calendar. 1300 hours. Oh, no, 13th rather, and the 10, 10 o'clock hour. Select. I've already done a demo voice here. I want to just hear if I can hear it. All right, good afternoon. This is a test of the microphone and talking over the bed. Hopefully the microphone is coming through and the bed <clears> is being dipped. If that's the case, then that's absolutely fantastic. Harry Styles, Sign of the Times coming up with LF System, Afraid to Feel first. Another hour of big hits. This is Zest. Yeah, okay, so that's working as regards hearing it. But what I need to do is to make sure that uh, it can hear me. So what we're going to do is um, delete that particular link and go here and go here okay so it's picking up the volume of the microphone which is cool oh, you can't see that can you sorry guys let's try that there we go um yeah let's go to full screen there we go okay so you can see that moving down the right hand uh, bottom left hand corner of the screen <clears throat> can i hear the jingle Yes, I can. Cool. Okay, so that's working. <clears throat> Let me just quickly... Uh, and this is just a test, by the way, guys, all right? So... Staying largely dry overnight. Clear spells for many, although there could be some showers in the far north of the UK. Temperatures dropping no lower than 8 degrees Celsius. Liverpool's big hit station. From the greatest city in the world, this is Zest. Thanks, Jeff. He's back tomorrow when you wake up. It's Paul here. Good morning with you. Uh, Harry Styles coming up, Sign of the Times. That's a brilliant song, isn't it? Going to play LF System, though, first with Afraid to Feel. Another hour of big hits. This is Zest. Okay, so that's a link recorded in. And then I can play that back. Let's come out of there a second. And this is only a test, by the way. I'm going to delete it straight afterwards. Uh, you have to wait for the queue to upload. And don't forget, we're on, like, Wi-Fi. So um, we're doing a live stream and everything else is connected to it. So <laughs> just bear with it. There it is. Okay, it's in there now. So it's got a plus button, a little uh, arrow there. Liverpool's big hit station. From the greatest city in the world, this is Zest. Thanks, Jeff. He's back tomorrow when you wake up. It's Paul here. Good morning with you. Uh, Harry Styles coming up, Sign of the Times. That's a brilliant song, isn't it? Going to play LF System, though, first with Afraid to Feel. Another hour of big hits. This is Zest. Okay, well, that seems to work, so that's good. Um, I'm going to exit that. And then I can do the show in the morning, knowing full well that it works. But, you know, every time I log on, it seems to change the audio. So uh, I'm not particularly happy about that. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, let's just save that again. Uh, file, save, <clears throat> second look, yes, save, OK to overwrite. Brilliant. All right. Uh, so that's the master mix. That's QA. And we're doing QB, so that's fine. OK. I'm going to reduce that. Oh, hang on, wait. Oh, okay. Have I got two instances of it open? Hopefully not. Okay, it's fine. It's gone. Um, let's just save that for future reference and close that. And uh, yeah, so thanks for helping me um, navigate through this. It's been very complicated, but um, I think we got there in the end. So thanks very much indeed. Um, have yourselves a great rest of the evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And uh, I'll catch you maybe through the week with regards to the unboxing of this new thing that arrives tomorrow. Or definitely, fingers crossed, definitely maybe next Monday, uh, which is a bank holiday here in the UK, uh, as it's the, the Queen's funeral. So um, uh, I... 
Hopefully we'll go live at 8 o'clock because everything should have been done and dusted by then. Um, if not, I will uh, publish a short just letting you know when the next one will be. And um, hopefully we'll catch each other then. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. It's been good fun. I need to get some sleep.